Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. Today's the 23rd? 23rd of December, 2018. And I'm at one of my buddy's shops, who's 72 years old, completely and totally awake. You see what I'm saying? I like this. These two shirts make it look like I have boobs. That's lame. At any rate, completely awake. Really good guy, he lets me use the shop every Sunday. And this is what I do. This is how I keep my mind right. Plus, I've been saving up for the last three months and I'm getting ready to hit the road. So I'm going west. West in a 1997 pickup pickup truck, in a 1997 vehicle. That's why you gotta know how to use these. And I do, so there's that. At any rate, so while I'm working, I've been here since six o'clock in the morning. It's 2.30 in the afternoon right now. The sun's been on all day. All day. I videotaped the sunrise. I might put that in this video. I videotaped the moon setting. Well, while I'm working, I'm listening to people like Steve Quayle, Timothy Alberino, myself. Yeah, I listen to myself. I listened to myself from a year ago to hear what I was saying then and see how it correlates into what's going on today. And this is a really good one. A lot of you people might have saw that movie, Catch Me If You Can, with, uh, what's his name? Leonardo DiCaprio, the, uh, who killed Gil Gilbert Grape or something like that. He played a guy that was running around, the FBI couldn't catch him, so forth and so on. Well, the guy in real life, Frank Aber Abernally, works for the CIA. And about a year ago, I was explaining to you how they were talking about how you wouldn't have passwords anymore how they could shut off somebody's pacemaker from 30 feet away, how they could set off your car, so forth and so on. Basically just backing everything up that we've been telling you over the years. This guy came out and said it. And there's one thing that he said that really hit me. He was talking about the power grid, how they have technology to deal with terrorists where they can knock out an entire power grid. Well, we already knew that. We went to Desert Saber, Desert Shield, Desert Storm. That's the, that's the time I was in the military. First thing we did was knock out Saddam's power. The worst thing you can do, you know, mother of all wars, million man army, chemical weapons, all a bunch of bullshit. Donald Rumsfeld allowed Saddam to go into Kuwait because they wanted to show everyone our military. They wanted to show you smart bombs. They wanted to show you stealth bombers. And they wanted to blow shit up and kill people because that's what they do. The worst thing you can do to an enemy is take them at night. Our military, we can fight at night, straight up and down, no two ways about it. We could do it when I was in, starlight scopes, night vision, off the chains. Plus, we've got drones now. We've got unmanned aerial vehicles that are probably hovering over me, you, and everyone we know right now. They can bomb you back to the Stone Age if there was such a thing. At any rate, a year ago, he's talking about this, how we can do this. And it just made me think about the other day when the Department of Homeland Security and the Presidential National Council released a thing telling everybody to prep for six months because we're going to lose power. Our power grid has been intentionally left vulnerable for just this reason. America was built up simply to get a military. Why do you think manufacturing and everything? We sent everything to China. We sent all of our small businesses, everything to China, simply to have it sent back. Wouldn't it just be cheaper and easier to make it here? Apparently not. You know what I mean? Nice. Fucking A. What's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. I was making a video while I was at my buddy's shop, and my camera died, because why wouldn't it, right? This is unbelievable. I've had five people thus far call me and say, dude, the sun's out. The sun's been out all day, and thus far, I don't see any airplanes. The sky is a brilliant white with a little blue, whitish blue. You know, the usual, the new normal. The sun is out. I don't have any, I left, I left my house at 5.30 to go work on my truck. And I didn't take my sunglasses. I wear shades all the time because I have incredibly sensitive eyes. Like my dad. And I don't have them on and the sun is killing me. It's just ironic. Don't you think? At any rate, 
was making a video earlier and I forgot what the point was. No, actually, I remember now. Um, I'm going to show you some clips and I'll leave a link to the entire TED Talk with Frank Ab Abernally, the catch me if you can guy. Because FBI, CIA, all these, you know, these services to protect us from all these terrorists that are everywhere constantly. They always hire bad guys. And they've always done that. They always hire bad guys to the point where most of the people that are supposed to be protecting us are actually people that were criminals by nature. Big time criminals. I was a criminal. It happens, you know what I mean? But I grew up in an area where crime and organized gangs and such were the norm. That's what we did. Fortunately, I woke up. I was really good at it, except you always had access to drugs, and I always had a weakness for drugs, and they got me in trouble. A kid that I grew up with is high up on the food chain in a particular organization, and he helped me see the light. And by him helping me see the light, which means kicking my ass, I ended up getting clean. And it's funny, one of my, a guy I did time with, a guy named Big Sam, left a comment the other day. It's crazy how all this is coming back around. I can't see shit at all. The sun is so bright. I can't see shit. Under the full effects of geoengineering, weather warfare, a snow bomb right now. Zero visibility. It's coming down with the winds like a tropical storm. And then it's going to be followed up with freezing single digit temperatures again for a week. Welcome to the new world order. But that's not what this video is about. What you're looking at right now is a video that I put up in April of 2017, and it was talking about uh, Zuckerberg and other places, Google, DARPA, ARPA, all these guys, where they were going to have technology that would read your mind. And I got blasted in the comments by people that were saying, this is absolutely ridiculous. Well, once again, the conspiracy theory turns real. Now, many of you are probably familiar with this movie by Steven Spielberg, that was about Tom Hanks and uh, whatever this kid's name is, Leonardo DiCaprio. Where this guy was a federal agent, Hanks was a federal agent, this other guy was a criminal. Well, it turns out that this criminal is now running the mind reading technology Frank Abinelli speaks. You will want to listen to this. And unfortunately, um, there's good news and there's bad news. First of all, the good news, we will be doing away with passwords in the next 24 months. Passwords will leave the world. There will be no more passwords. There is a new technology called TruSona. That's T-R-U-S-O-N-A. Stands for True Persona. It is a company in Scottsdale, Arizona, that created a technology for the CIA which we have used now for the last few years. That technology, uh, and I was an advisor on that technology for the CIA, so I'm an advisor on bringing it to the commercial world. But it was the ability for an agent to send data back from the field, such as Afghanistan, on their iPhone, and that Langley would know 100% that is the agent on the other end. 100% identify the person on the other end of the device. That's a level four security. So the, they basically said, what if we brought this to level two security and we did away with passwords? So immediately when they announced that, Microsoft gave them $10 million and said, I'm in, develop it. So Microsoft is going to use it on all their gaming, all their access to their computers, et cetera. We now have the ability to identify who the person is on the other end of that uh, device. And when you go to their website at TrueSona, they actually show you how it's done. So they show you demo videos there that are three or four minutes long that show you how it's done. That's great. Passports are stag uh, passwords are stagnant. They should have been gone a long time ago. It's why we have most of the problems that we have today. So it is very important that we get rid of passwords. And just in case you didn't know, 
If we take a bank like a Bank of America, they spend about $6 million a month in their call center resetting passwords. Save that bank $100 million a year to eliminate the use of passwords. So that's the good part of it. And I think that will eventually do away with Social Security numbers. You'll still have a number assigned to you for the government purpose. But when I go buy a car or I go to the doctor, I don't have to give them a number because they already know who I am through my device. So I won't have to provide a Social Security number. So I think that's a good part. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 24th of December, 2018. And the video I put up saying that, in my opinion, it appears that the United States military or whomever is flying all these helicopters up and down the East Coast from Maine to Florida, the amount of people, you guys, that have seen them and videotaped them and taken pictures is concerning. Well, I wake up this morning and I got not one, but two copyright strikes against the same video for the same segment. For whatever reason, um, Reuters, Associated Press UK, had an issue with that. So they gave me two copyright strikes for the exact same thing, which if you're a YouTube content creator like myself, that's not how it works. So at any rate, I took the videos down because I don't need this shit right now. And I put the video right back up again without Donald Trump telling everyone how great the Clintons were. They don't like when this stuff is exposed. Long story short is, if you've been making videos for about 10 years, you learn a couple tricks, don't you? See, my videos aren't high tech. I don't incorporate music and all this other crap. Once in a great while, but it's not how I make videos because that's not what this is. I'm trying to tell you stuff as it's occurring. I'm not trying to entertain you, sorry. Maybe once in a while, you know what I mean? But for the most part, no. So the video's going right back up. The video I put up last night, I had to, I had to schedule it because it was 4K video and YouTube takes an entire 24 hours to upload 4K, which is why I did what I did. The premiere thing, I don't know what the hell that was. Whatever, I don't know. But, my point is, I took video of the sunset yesterday because yesterday was the first time that I can remember in the longest time where there was absolutely no spraying of the sky whatsoever at all. It wasn't below zero, it wasn't frigidly cold out and the sun was out all day. I got video of the sun, I got video of the sunset. And for whatever reason, I had to, had to go to the ocean, stand out on the sand, freezing my butt off to videotape the moon coming up above the Atlantic. And I did. The crazy thing is, I've got video for days of the moon. always the same. It's the moon, it's the moon, it's the moon, it's the moon. There's nothing moving around, there's nothing swimming around. I literally caught what looked like the moon turning from a fluid from all the jagged lines, and it wasn't atmospheric lensing, it was too cold, and the sky was completely clear. I mean, I, I, I did an extreme close-up of one of the stars of the Little Dipper. No problem. The moon appeared to be coming out of the ocean and turning from a liquid into the white solid disc that we all see. And I've got it on video. I don't know what else to tell you. The little continents or whatever that are all over the moon, well, these were constantly transitioning from one thing to another. And this was after the moon was well above the ocean surface. So it wasn't, it wasn't anything to do with the water. I've never seen anything like this and I have to think that it directly correlates to the fact that they did not spray yesterday. Was the atmosphere loaded enough with barium, strontium, and aluminum that they used a hologram and I caught it on video? Or is the moon an entity just like the stars are? Because the stars aren't distant suns. They're little bursts of what looks like to us plasma or whatever. 
and they got it on video. I'm going to show you some examples. Somebody sent me a link from some guy in the UK that says I'm a spy. Because how do I make videos like this when I'm in my truck? But then suddenly, somehow, I add links in other content. Some sort of editing magical voodoo. Well, I've been telling you for a long time, I can no longer upload from my phone like I always did. So when I get home, I upload this video right now, and sometimes I add links to it. If you can't figure that out, maybe you shouldn't be pointing your finger at other people. Because to me, you look really stupid. I'm out.